People who have disabilities can have abilities and they're very capable of doing so much in life. That's it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, why don't you start with a catwalk towards the camera and look up at the camera. Yeah. I wish we could have music playing, it'd make it a lot easier. Making history as the first woman with Down syndrome to front a beauty campaign, Katie Mead hopes that she can be the example that beauty belongs to everyone. I like to have my hair did up, makeup done, and not wear these awesome clothes. When I first found out that I was going to be on this new hair rescue mask called Treatment, named Fearless, I was really excited. And it was really pretty awesome to be on this product, and it's amazing. I've worked with a lot of models. Katie was definitely the first model that I had worked with, with Down syndrome. Um, I think Katie has really like shown that beauty is more than just an outward appearance and it also comes from the inside. Before she began modelling, Katie was involved with the organisation Best Buddies, which works with people who have learning and developmental difficulties. As a role of my ambassador for Best Buddies, I go and promote people with and without disabilities can find funds and jobs. And it was through this that she was approached by the hair care brand Beauty and Pinups to front their fearless range. Which one is your favourite? <clears throat> that one right there. The opportunity came as a result of Best Buddies. Beauty and Pinups is a is a like more of a family unit and they really took Katie in and right from the beginning it was evident that they had her best interest at heart in the cause. Growing up, Katie received all the love and support she could possibly want from her family. But despite this, not everyone always accepted her differences. I remember when I was followed by a lot of kids back in school and they uh, put gum in my hair, uh, they put locks down in my shirt, I uh, took my books out of my back and stopped on them. And I had a lot of family supporting me in that. I talked to them, I talked to my friends, my family, my mom about it. And I remember when my mom talked to my school about it that being, having Down syndrome, people can be slow. I just looked past that and I overcome my obstacles. And I just never thought I could be like a model. So I think with the opportunity that Katie's had, I think it's opening up the door for so many people with disabilities. Okay, why don't you come forward a little bit? just to have different experiences and opportunities like Katie's had. Should I put it on? Mm, yeah, maybe have them on and then we'll take them off. I haven't seen anybody with Down syndrome being models. It's, now it's the time to see. More people with disabilities can have the chance to. to be beautiful and pretty, like I do. Well, like love most about her is her attitude and her outlook because you can feel, you can be down about things and when you talk to Katie about how her day went and it's always a good day <laughs> that just you, you can't help but feel good about it. Katie is extremely positive, probably the most positive person, never down, just always adds brings sunshine to everybody she meets. I'm just proud to call her my daughter. <laughs> I was given the chance to shine. I want the world to see people with disabilities have abilities and beauty belongs to everyone. <laughs>